Hey everyone, this is V with Real Journal Talk. And so today I am doing my mid-budget check-in for the month of January, of course. Um, so if this is something that you're interested in watching, please stay tuned. So, I want to thank everyone for stopping into my video and continuously supporting my channel. For anyone who is new, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for stopping in. And I hope you consider clicking that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen as well as that notification bell so you are notified of any of my new posts. So I am going to be doing my mid-budget check-in for the month of January um, to see where I'm at with my um, budget. Um, I currently use the Happy Planner Budget um, Planner. It's the classic size. And we are going to go ahead and start with looking at what I have set up so far. So what I normally do is... I go in to uh, the first paycheck, which was the 11th, I think it was the 11th, um, the 11th of January, and I go in and I check to make sure what was paid. So if you can see, let me see, let me take this off. If you can see, um, <clears throat> last time I went on and added stuff because when I did the paycheck to paycheck, um, it was the same day that bills had already came out. So we want to go ahead and mark off what else has come out of that particular check. So <clears throat> normally with these, this is the credit union loan. Normally with these, they're, uh, they're like my fix. So it's a standard price, so I already know what it's going to be a bill. And so it's easy to budget for those uh, standard bills, the fixed ones versus the variables. So with the light bill, I already knew what that amount was, um, and it was a 386.06. That was paid. Um, the other part of the uh, truck payment was paid. Then I paid the 30 for my credit card. And then the $122.52 for my loan. Then I was able to apply the $195 to my sinking funds. And I do have a video um, showing how I stuff my um, sinking funds and what categories they are. So if you haven't checked that video out, please go ahead and do so. So that was $195. And then my cash envelopes was $110. And that was um, in conjunction with... This account right here as a savings, I merged those two together. So, and I also have a video on that as well, how I uh, do my cash envelope. So check that out if you haven't. And so based off of that, I had only a projected, let me move this out the way, make sure you guys can see. I had a projected, uh, oh, my bad. So I had a remaining balance of 6601, and then I applied $50 towards my savings which left me with 1601, which was uh, applied to a snowball debt, um, which was ended up being my credit card. You can check that video out as well, if you have not. <laughs> so then what I would normally do is, um, cause that's basically showing what all came out on that pay period. This is basically uh, the month, oh, let me see. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is basically the monthly outlay versus the one we just did was actually the weekly. So um, I'll go in on the budget monthly due and write out what was paid. So this has not been paid. Um, of course, this was paid. The... Uh, loan the um truck note and i need to make a note of this i keep putting what the payment is uh which is the 399 
34 but I actually since I split it up I do 200 um, per pay period and um that would make me be over 66 cent which technically not i just under budgeted myself um so going forward i have to remind myself to put 400 versus the what the standard payment is um the cell phone and the landline phone that was paid uh who that was paid credit card was paid um what I'll do here is I'll just put 105 because this comes out bi-weekly. And so it's still 105 that has to come out of the uh, income for the month. And for the project fund, the same thing. I'll just uh, go ahead and allow 100 already came out. And the other 100 will come out the next pay period. And then the cable was already paid. The sinking funds, I was able to do the 195 the first light bill was 38606 that was done for the first cash envelope it was 210 and then savings i was able to do 50 okay so basically you're just going in and you're checking off what um was paid and not paid so that way you can keep up with um your bills and your money so here I need to update this um, well no I won't because that'll take a little bit of time that was my cash envelopes because I didn't update that from the last pay cycle so now what I normally do is I just go in and I just check off my monthly calendar spread if you guys can see that right here just shows you the monthly calendar uh, cable and I just use check it off uh, the phone bills um, Hulu the credit card the loan payment the truck payment credit union loan and then the project fund loan so so far everything has already come out a very uh, a lot of my bills actually have came out for that first pay cycle and so with the next pay cycle I'll do my paycheck to paycheck on that to show what bills are remaining for the month of January and so I also noted here that I deposited $50 into my um, savings. And then at the end of the month, what, what I'll do is um, on this savings jar goals, I'll color code this showing that I accomplished the savings because my goal is 100 uh, per month. If I can do more, I will. But for right now, I set myself to do 100 and so that would be um, color-coded long as I'm able to do that as well next pay period. So that's basically it, guys. That is my um, mid-check-in for my budget for January of this year. And I want to thank you guys once again for stopping in, checking out my channel, and just showing this channel support. I greatly appreciate it, and if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Um, also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and as well as if you're interested in subscribing to my channel, please do that as well. And so that's basically it. So you guys have a great, awesome weekend. Thanks. Goodbye.